What's going on everybody? My name is Hydros and welcome back to some more My Hero Academia the Strongest Hero and today we're going to be ranking the characters in the game based on just how fun they are, playability and also if they just kind of outright suck. So we're going to be basing our tier list on the S, A, B, C and flat out F rankings. Also if you guys have differing opinions let me know down in the comments down below. I do want to reiterate that these are my opinions only so if you agree, disagree, again let me know down in the comments down below as well as I'll link the tier list maker in the description as well if you want to make your own tier list feel free to share them with me on twitter at hydros plays also go follow me if you haven't already and before we go and get started make sure you guys go down there click that red subscribe button if you haven't already and as well as turn on all those notifications that we don't miss on in any future videos by clicking that bell so i want to preface this as well that again these are my opinions and i've you know just kind of basing these off of my pvp experience and also the just open world you know single player experience as well and also, there are some characters such as Endeavor and Stain who are not released on the global version, which is what I'm basing this off of. I do not play the Taiwan or CN version or anything like that, so just be aware that I do not have any experience playing with Endeavor and Stain, and as well as Dobby. Dobby's not actually in this list, but those two characters are that I mentioned as well. So anyway, so we have Ojiro. I haven't really played with Ojiro too much. So, I mean, I don't think he sucks but i do think he's you know kind of interesting kind of uh he's all right he's not really the best i mean i don't really know b is i kind of want to say b but I, I don't think he's quite there yet in the b tier again i haven't played with ojiro too too much so i you know he's not definitely a favorite of mine to begin with to kind of go to I will, we'll play c he's definitely not an f he's definitely not f he is a c at the mo at the least uh b i would say maybe if i played with him a little more maybe he might be moving up a little bit but i'm gonna go with c for now now deku in pvp deku is flat out annoying as crap to deal with sometimes especially if you're running all might i mean deku just just i don't even know how to describe it man deku just really is annoying to go against he's fun to play as though but he's just really annoying so it's it's like uh it's like a double-edged sword he's really fun if you're playing deku but if you have to go against the deku he's <laughs> he's just flat annoying sometimes uh so i would say he's at least an a tier uh just because the annoying factor to me just really gets to me a little bit so i really don't want to put him in s even though he is fairly decent but i'm gonna say a tier if at, at most or at the least rather a very very high a tier so we'll go with that. I think that's going to be fair. Stain, again, I don't have any playability with Stain, but from what I've seen based on some of the gameplay, I have seen some of the gameplay like data mines and stuff. Uh, I don't I don't know if Stain is actually out. Isn't Shigaraki out as well? Shigaraki's not in this list either, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, Shigaraki's not here. So again, this is based on global, so just kind of take that with a grain of salt with Stain here. But Stain, uh, just because I think Stain is really cool, I'm going to put him in A tier. I think Stain, Stain could go up there, right? Minetta. Ooh, baby, man. Minetta, Minetta, Minetta. I don't see too many of him currently in PvP. I have played with him quite a bit. Uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit. <laughs> uh, but he is rather kind of fun to play with because, you know, he can lock the enemies in place for a little bit. And he's, he's fun. I wouldn't say he's, like, outright good. But Minetta, I mean, I got destroyed by Minetta in PvP. Uh, if you haven't checked out my PvP video on Five Night Gaming, go check it out. I'll link it down below if you guys haven't seen it, man. I got I mean, all my all might got wrecked by a Minetta, man. I felt so bad. The fact that I got wrecked by a Minetta is all might. <laughs> so, I mean, just because that I'm a little salty, I'm gonna place him in B. He's definitely not bad. He's pretty good, but I don't think he's like the absolute best. I don't think he's like. Yeah, I think he's B tier. I think. I think. I think that's what he got. I'd go with right. Uh, Ida. I played with Ida a few bits in PvP. He's very weird to get a handle of at first because just his reciprocal burst, he just kind of flies at you throughout the, you know, on the screen, but he doesn't really have a targeting with one of them. At least I couldn't figure out if I could target with it or not. But in terms of that, I was kind of just running all over the place with his abilities and I didn't really get to hit the enemy too, too much. Maybe I just suck with Ida though. So that could be a thing too. But Ida, I mean, Ida, ah, Ida I'll say he's C. Yeah, I don't think he's like super like god awful. But I'll say he's a C tier just because that's that's kind of where I'm at based on my play experience with Ida. I'm not again. I've, maybe I just really suck with Ida, so that could just be my fault. But you know, I say he has a potential. Maybe if I get better, maybe that's where I think he would be B. Just because I think maybe it's just based on my experience that I just suck at it. So maybe I'll say C for now. 
Baku Go. Now, Baku Go. I, I think Baku Go is definitely at least an A tier because I, and during the closed beta for the EU version, I did play the closed beta. Uh, I did have a lot of fun with him. I did pull Baku Go, and I did have super good amounts of fun with Baku Go in PvP. Even though I think I was playing bots, but either way, I did have fun with Bakugo just because I feel like I could just get a handle of his character a lot better. I don't know what it was. I heard at first that before, like the global version even came out, that Bakugo like really sucked, and I was like, really? I had a lot of fun with this character. I didn't think he really played that bad at all. If I had to, I mean, I'm in between. I'm in between because I really do have a lot of fun playing with Bakugo on uh, Strongest Hero. So I'm kind of torn between A and S. Whoops, not that. I'm kind of torn between A and S. I, I, I don't know, man. Again, I'm having, I have a lot of fun with him, but maybe, I mean, he might not be that, that good at the end of the day. Maybe it's just my experience that I just had a very, very good experience with him. I, I'll, 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 I'll throw him in the S tier. Why not, man? I'll, no, 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 I'll go A. I'll go A tier. I do think he's at least A. At least a medium A tier. That's that's what I'm going with. All right. All Might. All Might. Easy. Easy peasy. All Might. S rank. If you're able to get at least a few dupes in him to get to that SS and SSS rank. Oh my God. Is he just a beast? Like I just let my game auto whenever I'm like doing story stuff. And he just, he just wrecks the story, man. He just completely wrecks the story. And even in PvP. I have a lot of fun with All Might when I'm winning. He took quite a bit to get used to, uh, just because his attacking is a lot different from like, say like Deku. Deku is like, bam, 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 bam. All Might, it takes a minute for him. He's like, attack, wait a second, attack, wait a second. And then, you know, once you get the used to the timing of his attacks a little bit, he is definitely really good and really, really fun to play with. So All Might definitely gonna be an S tier from me. Now, Endeavor, I have not played with Endeavor. I don't have Endeavor, and I did not get the chance to play with him in the beta. I don't have any experience with Endeavor. But from what I understand, Endeavor is a pretty good character. And just because I like Endeavor, I like his character, I'm going to throw him in the S tier. Just because I like it. Ah, maybe A tier. Ah, maybe S tier. Ah, ah, I don't know. Maybe. Ah. <laughs> I know you guys get tired. I'm sorry. Uh, I just because I haven't played with him, I don't think I can guarantee his S tier. From my perspective, I don't think I can because, again, I've not played with this character. So I don't think I can guarantee the S. A lot of you may disagree. He may be S tier. But at least for me, I don't have the experience right now. Maybe after I, you know, if Endeavor comes out at any point in the time in the global cycle currently, whenever Endeavor does come out or whenever I get a, hand, a hold of Endeavor at some point, I'll definitely try him out. And that may change. I'll definitely do another tier list. But currently, based on what I have seen and what I've been told on Endeavor, he is pretty freaking good. I see he is pretty good, though. I. Uh, uh, oh, uh, ooh, uh, uh, S tier, sure. Nah, we'll go A. I'll, I'll leave him in A. I'll leave him in A. Koko Yami, boom. I have, uh, Koko Yami was my first double S unit when I first started the game. I pulled him twice, or no, three times. Two off a single, one off a multi-summon. I gotta say, I love Toko Yami. He's super duper fun. I think I have a little bit more fun with him than All Might at this moment in time, but he's super fun. And he hits pretty hard at some points, but I have built him up quite a bit. I think his combos are more fun and more viable than All Might's in some shape or form, especially because he has reach, so he can do longer ranged attacks with him. All Might does not. He's more a close combat. I mean, he's literally like going to be right in your face. So uh, between Tokuyami and All Might, I feel like Tokuyami is definitely a very fun long ranged user to actually play with. So Tokoyami for me, S tier. I love this character. Uh, definitely had the some of the most fun in the game when I did start with Tokoyami. So Mo 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 All right, Momo, A tier. I've not played too much with Momo. I did, I think, play with her in the beta. I think did I? I may have. I did play with in the beta. Her cannon is pretty annoying sometimes, but you can get around it pretty easy. I don't think she's like the super most awesome best tier character 
Although I could be wrong. Maybe I just need more experience with her. Just again, take it with a grain of salt with my own opinion. Uh, but yeah, I think that she definitely could be. Man, I think I, I'll go with A. That's what my gut is telling me just based on my personal seeing and usage of Momo. I do think that's where she's going to fit best, in my opinion, is A tier. Maybe I just need to use her more. Again, if I use her a lot more, maybe that'll change the S. But for right now, I think it's A because I think, you know, she's really good. Ah, I think S. I, I know I'll go with S. I, I, I'm I, I'm going with it. I think Momo is really, really good. And now we have, uh, we have Ochako. Ochako is pretty good. I love her float. I love the fact that she can do an AOE circle damage. That's really good. I think she's at least an A tier. Again, I do have Ochako. I love Ochako to death uh, as a character in the game. She is a pretty fun one to use because, again, the float just... <laughs> if you're going against it, it actually is kind of annoying, almost like Deku. It is really annoying to go against Ochako when she's floating if you don't have, like, Kaminari to kind of counteract her a little bit. But I do think Ochako is a solid A tier character. Now... Kaminari. Common, 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 chameleon. I think Kaminari is at least a B. He's pretty good, but if you smack him a bit, he's he's pretty frail. <laughs> also, I think Ojiro I might slap down. I might slap Ojiro down. Actually, no, I might slap Ida down. I think I think Ida's pretty uh, I thinking about it, I think I'm gonna slap Ida down to F a little bit. Uh but yeah. I think uh Kaminari, he's at least a B tier. He is pretty good. Like I said, he can kind of go against Ochako he can kind of deal with uh, at least Kirishima as well but uh, that's kind of where I'm going with for now uh, Kirishima is next and Kirishima A tier he is one of the most annoying characters to fight in PvP in my opinion just because of the fact that he's just a tank and then if he gets his invincibility for a bit oh god you're screwed <laughs> I mean I, maybe I'm just playing very poorly again that could definitely be the reason I, I, I'm not the best at PvP I kind of suck so Definitely could be the fact that, you know, maybe I'm just not doing it right. Again, I think Kaminari, from what I'm told, is a, de a definitely a decent counter to Kirishima because of that long range and stuff. But uh, but Kirishima, I definitely think he's at least an A tier. He's really, really good in PvP, especially for a free character. He is rather good as well for as a free character. So definitely pretty good. Todoroki now. Todoroki, I'm going to go, I'm going to go B. I have Todoroki. I've played with him. Uh, he's a pretty decent character. You can swap between fire and ice, you know, as his uh, quirk suggests, right? I, I did. I think I've played with him quite a bit to see that, you know, he's he's okay. He's not the best. He's not awful. He's kind of an in between a little bit. So B for in between. There we go. Uh, he can do some damage, and then he can just get rocked pretty quick. <laughs> Uh, again, maybe I'm just using him wrong. He has that ice attack where he can launch three ice attacks in a row pretty much until it, you know, he has to recharge it. So that's a pretty cool attack. And the fact that, again, he can swap between two different abilities, so like basically fire and ice is pretty cool. So I think he's at least an in-between character. He's a pretty good, he's a decent character to have, but definitely not the best. Before we get to Aizawa, Froppy. I think Froppy, I think Froppy's B. B, Froppy's B tier. I do like her comboing a lot. I did play with her in the beta as well. Uh, I did like her comboing from, you know, she's also kind of a decent long range. She can grab you and then pull you in and then just go to town with those combos. Really, really fun to use. But definitely, I feel like she could be a lot better uh, in terms of some of her abilities. But I do think she's another in-between character that kind of, you know, is good, but definitely isn't like right up there with some of the better characters, right? So... There is that. Aizawa, we all know. We all know Aizawa's pretty, pretty busted, man. <laughs> that's that's a, that's a given. I think Aizawa is like one of the most broken characters I've seen in PvP. I do not own him, but I know he's S tier because he's pretty freaking good nonetheless, right? Uh, that's just me. Again, these are my opinions, guys. If you agree, disagree, whatever it may be, leave a comment down below. Be civil about it as well. I'm not here to spread any, like, you know, hate or anything like that. Be civil about it. Be friendly to each other. Also, if you want to check out your own this tier list and make your own, link to it be down in the description down below. Tweet at me, at Plays with your own tier list as well for this game if you are playing the strongest hero. And I'll see you guys in the next one again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, take these with a grain of salt. These are based on my experiences and my opinions alone. So again, take it with a grain of salt. I may be wrong to some of you. I may be right. I may be whatever. But again, this is just based on my experiences having fun with the game. So again, 
have fun with the game guys don't take it too seriously but again thank you guys so much for watching have a fantastic day